Well, yeah, everybody's back home. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not coming out here though. But so, so sad. It was amazing. Uh, great times, great vibes. Um, ended up doing a food tour. We had a guy. It was pretty amazing. Uh, place in Chinatown, we had dumplings and like just spicy sauce. It was good, right, Aaron? Yes. Aaron was being fat. Yes. Uh, it helps a lot, you know. Um, keeps the defense on their toes. Um, keeps some in base personnel or the same defense that we just saw to play before, um, and it's easier to dissect for Caleb. So. Just playing fast tempo, you, I know it's an advantage for us, and we got to be on it. Is every offensive player one? Ah, uh, yeah. If we if we dishing the ball like how we was last week. Uh, kind of. Um, our no huddle. We it just it depends. Uh, if one thing's going. Then the other one is it's definitely going to hit because either we was passing the ball and then now they backed off and we could run the ball or we running the ball uh, down their throat and now we could take a deep shot so it marries up. Based on your previous experience in, in a London game, what, what is your uh, what do you what do you feel like is the challenge or the thing you have to you really most have to overcome you know to uh, come over and win a game like this? Uh, to overcome. Not trying to go spend all your money out here shopping is the the, the biggest thing, and uh, probably the, the like the time change and the jet lag and stuff. But we got over it pretty early, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. The teams that have come out here, including the, your Carolina, had a big lead early. It gets early leads in this game. Is it one team is more acclimated than the other? It seems like is that a factor? I mean, is that an important? Is that is that something that you need to do in this game, or or that or can be done to get up to a fast start? Yeah, you definitely can get off to a fast start if you really get acclimated here early on in the week instead of just coming out here later on because then your body is just, like, not ready to go. When did you go from out to North Carolina? When did you get? I think we came, like, kind of the same. Uh, the same, yeah. Did you feel to get two touchdowns against the last week? It felt amazing, you know. Uh, you didn't put a dagger in their heart, so with that. Uh, we was talking about it today uh, between me, Keenan, and Dre. We, we're going to have to come up with something. I don't know. We all got great relationships. Uh, I don't know how he balances it, but I mean, he's doing a good job. Everybody's happy. We went in, and uh, we just got to keep it up. Yeah, getting a win out here and then going on a bye week happy is, is a must. Uh, and even if we wasn't going on a bye week, a back-to-back -back win would be amazing uh, just to stack those wins, keep that feeling going for the rest of the year. For international fans that haven't got a team uh, that are looking to support someone, new to the sport, effectively, I'm going to give you an opportunity to sell the team to them. Why should they support the base? Uh, because we... <laughs> The best team out there, you know, uh, one of the original teams, maybe the original team. Uh, we here, we gonna bring a lot of energy and stuff. So, uh, and hopefully a win. Do you have a, a message to your existing big uh, Bears fan base in the UK? Mm, bear down. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't have that much money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But now, yeah, I don't, no, I'm not spending no money out here. <laughs> Damn, Aaron, slow down. <laughs> How has it been like, on a week to week basis from like, the coaching staff? And there's an obvious fix that Caleb needs in this game. Oh, my bad. <laughs> so,
Uh, it's amazing. You know, he's taking those strides that he needs to. Uh, he's been bossy lately, uh, telling us that we need to be on the details. But we, we really do for him to be the best player he needs to be. So, uh, but yeah, I think that's it. He's been a leader. Uh, so what I mean by bossy is we don't hit some in practice. He's going to tell us how we need to run it, this, this, that. And we just look at him and be like, OK. And then when we get out there on the game, you just better make sure it works because he's going to have some words for you if you don't. So that's him being a leader. He's a little bossy. You no, know, it's the little bro, so. That's what you want. I mean, he's younger, I guess. That's what you want to see. Yeah. You yeah, you do want to see that. Like I said, he's like little bro, so you like looking at him like, dude, don't be talking to me like that. But it's like a, like a, but I understand because we need to really connect on that. And that's what we did this past week. So I took his advice. I listened. You know what I'm saying? Older bro had to take a back seat for a second. How's it going, everybody? Appreciate it. I've been, I've been around. Uh, I've I've uh, I've been over Europe uh, a good amount um, over here. I'm in a bunch of different places over here. Um, not gonna sit up here and name them, um, but yes, Paris, Monaco, um, and you know, we'll cut it there. But um, let's get back to ball. Um, I think the first thing I've learned from <clears throat> traveling is um, there's a bunch of different cultures and things like that. I like I love food and all of that. I love architecture and everywhere you go, there's you know a bunch of different things. Um, and then um, it's just something I like to do in my off time, um, kind of reset, kind of get ready for you know doing this for um, the whole year, whole rest of the year. Um, and so uh, you know it's one of it's just one of my things that I've learned over the years um, that I really enjoy and something that. Uh, helps me reset for you know when it's time to do this for the rest of the year. Yeah, you yep. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it helps me when they, you know, can can create more depth in the pocket. Um, it goes for any quarterback in, you know, playing ball. So. Um, no, but it's it's been great. Um, just getting more comfortable, um, understanding, um, you know how you know my offensive lineman blocks, understanding and and filling it out in the pocket um, uh, when I'm back there in practice games. Um, so just just getting used to everybody um, and, and things like that. And I think they're all you know getting used to me how I throw, um, you know uh, where I tend to be in the pocket and things like that. And I think uh, things have been. Uh, settling down for all of us, I would say. Um, I think it's it's been uh, it's been a joy to, you know, um, from the first game to to now um, to be able to progress, um, have constant communication, you know, from the from the teammates um, and uh, from the coaches um, all all together. Um, that's huge. Like I've spoke about before, and I think we've been getting better at it. Bossy. Sounds a little sassy, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, all good. Um, I think, I think uh, partially it was me learning everybody um, and understanding how everybody, you know, reacts to certain things. Certain people you can be a little bossy with. Certain people you have to talk very uh, monotone and in and, and, and control of yourself. Um, a lot of times just people that you can just kind of lash out and... I don't really lash out much. It's not really my uh, my vibe, but um, you know, just just always coming over to talk to you know the guys when I can. Um, growing up a little bit, um, understanding that uh, even when I'm frustrated um, about maybe maybe it was you know a drive, um, a play that we had that you know we may have messed up or um, you know just just whatever the case may have been. Um, you know, understanding that uh, you know there's there's another drive coming. Um, there's another part of the season that, you know, we have to focus on also. And so, um, you know, being able to go over and talk to them, understand, 
um, you know, how and, and, and what they need to hear. Um, and then from there, uh, moving on. So uh, I think the ball is, and then the other part of it is uh, getting more comfortable um, and understanding um, the offense a little bit better, getting more comfortable, um, you know, calling in, things like that, being in games, being in the live action moments, um, I think is, has helped me. Yep. I think uh, I think it's been I think it's been from the start of the season. Um, um, I think there was things that we were getting better at, things that I need to be better at, things that um, and partially it was you know me speaking up a little bit more and you know um, not getting so annoyed and um, understanding you know what I need to say to people um, and and how I need to say it uh, when I need to say it. Um, and I think uh, that that progress has grown from the first game to to now. What do you think is learning how people react to certain situations? What have you found is the best way for you and DJ to get on the same page and have a game like this? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing is just going over there and talking to DJ. Um, first, let the frustration. If it was a maybe it was a good drive, so maybe no frustration, or maybe it was one of those drives that you know obviously we felt like we should have scored, or um, you know should have gotten the ball some more, um, or anything like that. Um, go over, talk to him um, after everything settles down, whether it's good or bad. Um, go over, you know, talk to him, and uh, just be to be right on the same level as he has or he is. Um, I think uh, uh, DJ's not a, a huge rah rah guy unless he scores, like y'all saw last week. Um, uh, big bro, as he said. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. How do you assess that performance on Sunday? Because that clearly was your best individually, and then just the five games so far, and how that's been an introduction into the NFL. Yeah, I think it's been great. I think it's uh, you know these five games have been really important for me. Um, the amount of ball that I've been learning, um, and um, I think uh, the progress that I've had so far, um, only you know amounts to everybody else, uh, meaning um, the other ten guys um, and the coaches. Um, that are out there calling it, us running it. Um, I think it starts, you know, in practice um, and how we've handled ourselves um, from that uh, that indie loss. Uh, from there, we, you know, we made jumps in practice. I'm um, not speaking about the game or anything like that. We've made um, huge jumps in practice about focus, um, about details, um, and I think that starts with you know our leaders that we have. Um, I've, I've spoke about this personality of this team multiple times. Uh, whether it's after the the comeback or you know these losses and things like that, and how we respond to certain things, and so um, I think we've done a good job. We got to get better, keep getting better. Um, but I think uh, my you know myself and, and my progress, um, you know, uh, it amounts to to those guys, those guys and um, how they've been leading. No, um, I think uh, I think the the biggest thing is um, not being not trying to be in someone else's shoes, um, and and you know I do things um, in my life that I enjoy, um, hobbies outside of football, football, um, and I focus on those things. I think uh, I think you know watching those guys and things like that, um, you know. They're out there balling, out there doing their thing as expected and as they should. Um, and so watching them, um, don't feel any way. Um, obviously, I want to go out there and uh, play, be who I am, us be explosive as an offense, um, be myself. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, and that's what we focus on um, is being ourselves, um, going out there as an offense and as a team and, um, you know, trying to help each other go out there and win. And um, that's the only thing that matters at the end of the day. If you go look at um, anybody else's, um, if you talk about anybody else, if you talk about, um, if you want to talk about any other sports, um, only thing that, that people really mention, um, and I think uh, that's why Michael Jordan is the GOAT, um, is because he, he wins. Um, and so, um, you know, each week focusing on, on our task at hand, um, and that's winning, you know, that game um, each week. And so um, that's the most important thing and most important stat at, uh, at the end all be all. Yeah, two more. Okay. For international fans that don't 
don't have a team, why should they support the Bears? And what is the main thing that you found the difference between college and NFL? Yeah, I think uh, you should support the Bears. They got wonderful colors. Um, um, you know, they got they got guys like DJ Keenan, um, Rome, and uh, Tyreek, and um, Tez, Montez, and all these you know all these amazing people, but amazing athletes and. Um, Jalen Johnson, I can keep going. Tory, Tory Taylor, um, the Aussie, um, I can I can keep going. Uh, but uh, we got we got all these amazing players, um, amazing people. Um, I think uh, our colors are amazing. I think uh, uh, the Don, as I call him, um, um, uh, Poles, Chef Poles. We got we got great people, um, you know, leading us uh, from the top down, and so. Uh, you know we're 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 on the way up um, in the progress, um, and then and then what was the second part of your question? And what is the main difference for you personally that you've had a taste of a big taste of the NFL? Yeah, I would say I would say uh, trying to hear in the headset when uh, it's third down is uh, is is one of the the, the tougher things because you may have a a really long play, um, and uh, you know you have that 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 uh, that crowd roaring at, at another uh, stadium, even our stadium sometimes. You walk out into the field and they're, you know, cheering us on and things like that, and you know, you kind of quiet down a little bit. So I think it's, I think it's the, the hearing the, the play. Um, um, and so that's the moment that, that you've experienced. I would say, the Colts got loud at one point. Um, no, they they did a good job, and then uh, obviously the Texans and um, there was one point I would say. So I would, if I wanted to rank them, I'd say uh, us when I walked out. I think uh, for my first play. Um, was was tough to hear, and then uh, the other two teams are are tied neck and neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we we were at the line, and um, coach sent in a play, and uh, the play could have worked, would have worked, um, but we had. We had the the fire blitz, um, and so uh, Coleman yells it out, and um, I I, uh, I I saw it also because he was about three yards away from the line or five yards away from the line, and so um, we had other things, um, other other routes and things like that within the um, you know within the play, and uh, made sure everybody knew what they had, and uh, from there um, Coleman yells, we got fire, and um, I, I say back, I know I got it, and then you know throw a throw a flat ball to Rome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. The Bears.